Hello, good people of God, and welcome to Meaningful 5 Minutes with Mommy Reads. For this week, we have been looking at life's institutions and some of the interactions that we have with one another in the life's institution. We also are called upon to show love during this week because love is the bedrock of every human interaction. And so having looked at the interaction between the husband and the wife, and we have reminded ourselves that there is need for the husband to love the wife and for the wife to also show love to the husband. We have also looked at the uh, interaction between parents and children, what the parents should do and not do, and also how the par- how the children should react to their parents, mindful of the fact that today they are children, but tomorrow they will be parents. And so they, w- they should treat their parents, we should treat our parents in the way that we would love to be treated uh, when we become parents. Hallelujah. And so in slot 48, we'll be looking at yet another institution which requires interaction and that needs us to show love. Hallelujah. And that institution is that of siblings. Siblings are those who are born of the same parents, or you could have a situation where you have siblings of the same father, the different mothers or the same mother, different fathers or cousins or the extended fam- extended family at large. And that's what we refer to as siblings. We have as main passage first John chapter 4 from verse 20 to 21, where we are told that we cannot claim that we love God whom we have not seen, when we cannot love our brothers or sisters whom we see. Hallelujah. And our other passage is James chapter 4 verse 11, which says that we should not slander our brothers or sisters. Hallelujah. We're going to be looking at the example of some good siblings in the Bible. We know that as siblings, we are called upon to protect, to guide, to direct, and to defend ourselves. Hallelujah. And the first example of a good sibling is Miriam. When we look at Exodus chapter 2 from verse 1 to 10, it was no joke for Miriam to be put to watch over her brother in the Nile. Imagine the Nile with all its crocodiles. She had to be alert. She had to stand guard. She had to be watchful so that her brother's basket will not be stolen. And that is effectively what happened. She kept watch and was able to recommend her mother as a nanny to her younger brother. We look at another good sibling in Genesis chapter 37 verse 29. That is Reuben. Reuben might not have been a wonderful son, but Reuben was a wonderful big brother. That is why he came back to look out for Joseph. Unfortunately, Joseph had been taken. That is how we are called upon to be as older siblings. This doesn't mean that younger siblings should be a pain in our necks, but we should be an example to each other as siblings. Hallelujah. You take the example of Dinah or in Genesis chapter 34, where she was raped and her brothers came to defend her. It was not a very laudable thing for them to kill the perpetrators of such acts, but it was necessary for them to defend their sister, to save their sister's honor, which had been defied. Hallelujah. We also look at the example of Noah's sons in Genesis chapter 9, from verse 23 to 24, where we are told, Ham and Japheth came and covered their father's nakedness and also made amends for the mistakes that their brother Shem had made. Their, their brother looked upon their father's nakedness, but they did not copy the same example or the wrong example. They came and they made it right. That is how we as siblings should be. We should correct each other's mistakes and not blow it out of proportion. We should be people who are there to watch each other's back and not to stab each other in the back. Hallelujah. We take the example of bad siblings in the Bible. We look at Lot's daughters in Genesis 19 from verse 30 to 38. They had no right to sleep with their father because who knows, the God who saved them from the fire in Sodom and Gomorrah would have equally provided them with husbands to make their family to to, to continue to grow. So it was not a very logical thing for them to do, to, to go to bed with their father because whatever it is, it is called incest. Hallelujah. We look at the example of Cain and Abel. In Genesis chapter 4 from verse 1 to 16, we should not be envious of our siblings. If our siblings are doing well or our siblings are doing better than us, it doesn't mean that our own turn will not come. Our own turn is going to come. So it is not necessary for us to be to be jealous, to be envious, or to be bitter. Hallelujah. You look at the example of Rachel and Leah in Genesis chapter 29. Nobody says God who provided Rachel's own husband will not have provided a husband for Leah. 
if she had done the right thing. So it is necessary for us, especially as sisters, not to be envious when our older sisters are, are doing better than we are doing or when our younger sisters are doing better than we are doing because as our faces are different, so is God's timing in our life different. It is necessary for us to support one another. Who says an older sister cannot dance so well in her younger sister's marriage and eventually attract a husband to herself? Let us be there to support one another and not and not be a pain in each other's neck. We are told in Matthew 18 verse 15 that we should sort out our differences because as human beings we are called upon to have misunderstandings from time to time but we should not let it be a, a, a habitual practice. It should be something that when it happens we should be able to sort it out and let love and peace reign even in our midst as siblings. You can like, you can share, you can comment. The Bible is the road, Jesus the code, sin the obstacle and heaven the destination. Shalom, good people.